Hello everyone, welcome to In 5 Minutes. In this video clip, we will discuss the process of decimation in detail. We will first try to understand how decimation takes place in time domain and then we will go through its mathematical analysis and we will try to establish the corresponding change that takes place in the frequency domain due to whatever operation we carry out in time domain. So decimation, if you remember, is nothing but the down sampling. Whenever you want to reduce the sampling rate, we use the process of decimation. So let's say we have signal X of N with sampling rate Fx and I want to convert it to the same signal X of N, but now I want it to be another sampling rate Fy such that this new sampling frequency that we have Fy is less than Fx. That means I want to reduce the sampling rate from fx to fy and not just that fy is less than fx but there has to be a proper relationship between fy and fx right now when we are discussing decimation the relationship says that fy will be nothing but fx divided by capital d so the original sampling rate effects will be reduced by d and we will obtain a new sampling rate which is fy where d will be an integer so for example if i take d is equal to 2 then we are saying that fi should be equal to fx by 2 so in this case if let's say fx is equal to 1000 hertz then what do you mean by decimation by a factor of 2 it simply means that the new sampling rate has to be 1000 by 2 which will be nothing but 500 hertz so here d is called decimation factor so let's just make a note of it d is called decimation factor and this whole process of decimation by a factor of d can be put in the form of a, a very simple block diagram where we consider a block which represents the process of decimation so input to this will be nothing but signal x of n and output will be a new signal y of n but it is nothing but the decimated version of x of n only we simply write down arrow indicating the down sampling and we mention the value by which the down sampling will take place which is capital d and now how to write y of n in the form of x of n so when i say that you have to reduce the sampling rate by a factor of 2 this simply means that i will keep the first sample i'll remove the second sample i'll keep the third sample i'll remove the fourth sample and so on so in simple words we have to consider every second sample or in other words i have to remove every second sample if it is decimation by 2 if d is equal to 3 that means i have to consider every third sample and this time i'll be removing two samples uh, from in between the two valid samples if d is equal to 4 that means i have to reduce the sampling rate by 4 so if the original sampling rate is 1000 hertz and if d is equal to 4 that means i want the new sampling rate to be 1000 by 4 which is 250 hertz so i just want 250 samples from a signal which currently has 1000 samples per second so how can i reduce 1000 samples to 250 samples by reading every fourth sample so out of four samples you will read only one sample and discard three and that's how from thousand samples you will be reading only 250 samples and discarding 750 so that's the reason we show this down arrow because we are doing down scaling and how is this done how you choose every second sample or every third sample or every fourth sample this is exactly similar to the scaling operation that you must have studied in the subject of signals and system scaling can be either x of n by something or x of n into something there were two cases there were two types of scaling in one scaling the signal gets expanded in one scaling the signal gets compressed here we have to compress the signal and to compress the signal we must multiply by d here so x of dn will be my y of n so what do you mean by x of dn because you are multiplying n with d you will divide the time axis by d when you draw this and hence the signal will be compressed and that's how you will get down sampling or process of decimation d strictly has to be an integer let us now try to understand this in terms of waveforms 